What's up everyone? I wanna show you how to set up a router in React in five minutes, so let's go ahead and dive on in. First off, this video is sponsored by the Ultimate Freelancing Bundle on studywebdevelopment.com. I'm a huge believer that as web developers, we have the ability to create products and you can do that for yourself or for other people. Whether you wanna freelance part-time to earn some extra income or try to make this your full career, this bundle is gonna have some great tips and templates and strategies for you to follow to go and build that clientele and grow your business. Now, if you're interested, check out the bundle and use the coupon code JQ20 to get 20% off the entire bundle. I think it will be well worth your time and you should definitely check it out to start your career as a freelancer. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set up React Router in five minutes here using this React Router DOM package from NPM. And first, I just wanna show you there's not really a whole lot going on. I've basically got uh, a starter React application using Create React App. I took out all of the, the base stuff that's in the app.js just added a little paragraph tag here to say uh, we will add routing and then i've created a directory inside of source for pages and there's a home component uh, which is really simple obviously and then an about component so let's go ahead and let's stop the live server and let's uh, install react router dom so we'll install this package and then there's a couple of things we're going to need to do we're going to need to import the actual router into our app.js so basically what we're going to do is surround our app with the router and then conditionally display the pages based on which route the user is on so what we'll want to do is uh, do an import and this will be fine as soon as that package finishes installing we're going to import route and then we're also going to import the browser router and most people in most documentation i see they rename this so browser router as router and then i uh, will do that from react router dom so with those things imported here, now we want to wrap uh, basically this entire container with our actual router. So uh, we'll go ahead and surround this thing with our router. And then what we want to do is have a place where we're actually going to put the different things that we want to display. So we can have those be our route. So if we have a route and then a path, uh, each route will have two properties, a path, and this will be the root and a component. And in this case, we'll have our home component. All right, and then I need to import this. So we'll need to import both home and about. So import home from pages and then home. And then we'll do the same thing for about. So import about from pages slash about. So I have both of those and uh, we'll just create a new route here. So a second one for slash about, and this should be the about page. All right, so let's save that and then let's run npm run start again to start our live development server. Uh, we'll get this thing up and running here and hopefully what we'll see is that we see once this finishes loading, we see home and then if we come to slash about, uh, we'll see something weird, it's about and home. And the reason is, this is a little bit odd, but uh, basically the root path here is also a match for uh, slash about. So when we have things that might be subroutes of each other, we need to potentially mark them as exact. So what this means is only render this home component if this, ma this path matches exactly. So if it's just the slash and not anything else. So if we come back, now we see there's the about and uh, here's the index, which is our home. Now, if you wanted to uh, solve this in a slightly different way, you can use a switch in React Router. So we can bring in the switch and with this, we can wrap all of our routes inside of a switch, so switch here. And what this is going to do is it's only going to choose one of these paths, so we can get rid of exact, and then it's only going to choose one of these routes inside of here. So only one of those will show at a time, and it'll be the first one that matches. So this will work, although it will be a little bit odd as well, because if we come to slash about, it's a, it shows also slash home. Now this is again for the same reason that home also matches, so you could, either mark this as exact again and now you'll see about or you can mark this uh, without the exact and then just have it come after the about so basically it's going to try to match this thing first and if it matches it'll take that and then this one second so here uh, we should see the same thing so that's using the switch there so that's pretty cool and if we come back home we should see the home page and then lastly we can just add a little tiny uh, nav here just for testing. So let's do, let's get rid of, actually we could put all of this stuff inside of our container and let's get rid of this and let's do a little bit of a nav and it'll have a UL 
and a couple of li items and what we want is each of these to be links to the different pages so actually instead of or within the li we'll have a link and uh, we'll get some auto formatting here in a second but we'll need to import the link here as well and a link is going to have a property of a2 so this will be uh, it's a slash and this will be home and then we'll duplicate that and say about and slash about now the reason you want to use the link component from react router dom is this will do client side routing so if you just use your regular anchor tag with an href it will actually reload the entire page with the link tag inside of react these are going to use client side routing so you're not reloading the entire application you're just changing the page so let's come back over and you see i've got our two links they look uh maybe these aren't formatted correctly and they're not because this other one should go inside of an li and this is obviously not going to look very good but just to show you how to set this up we've got our home page then we've got about and we can switch between them so we just set up routing in our react application in about five minutes here we talked about uh, the browser router renaming that thing to a router to wrap everything in our app.js creating the individual routes using a switch to be able to choose between different routes and then using a link for client side routing as well I really needed this as a reference for myself. Hopefully this is a really quick and nice reference for you going forward as well. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.